हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जब भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडवांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट को तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जा प्रति भिडज को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक वैक्यूम डिपोजिशन विषय पढ़ा बट विफोर दैट Let us have some knowledge about the non-lithographic processes. Okay, we have already read about the photolithographic process. Now, non-lithographic process is actually based on natural self-organization processes, and in general, these non-lithographic methods can be broadly classified into two groups, namely the vacuum-based deposition process. and the second one is the solution based deposition process so the first one is the vacuum based deposition process here the elements alloys or compounds are vaporized and deposited under high vacuum which is around 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power minus 11 milli bar okay so this is the pressure okay now this process is very clean and probability of deposition of foreign and undesired materials is very low in this case hence the vacuum based deposition techniques are highly suitable or favorable for efficient device fabrication okay examples of these vacuum based deposition process are like evaporation sputtering chemical vapor deposition then laser ablation molecular beam epitaxy then plasma arc method etc okay now it also have some of the limitations like number 1 it requires costly and complicated equipments then number 2 it requires leak proof accessories and number 3 it requires vacuum pumps and gauges okay means the machines or tools okay in order to maintain the vacuum right now number 2 is the solution based deposition which are actually based on chemical reactions in liquid phase okay that is why it is the solution based deposition okay hence these methods are simple and cost effective means less costly and a large range of materials can be synthesized by this solution based deposition methods and some of the examples of these processes are like sol gel deep coating spin coating spray pyrolysis then electro deposition chemical bath deposition etc okay it also have some of the limitations like number 1 it is not a very clean process due to the chemical reactions with different constituent materials in the solution then number 2 the desired property is affected due to the presence of undesired molecules ions which are present inside the synthesized material okay and number 3 it is not compatible with the modern solid state device technology which is the primary manufacturing process for electronic and photonic devices okay now up to this i have taken from one book now this is what taken from another book about the vacuum deposition okay which has given it in details okay so vacuum deposition method involve a type of surface engineering treatment which is used to deposit layers of materials onto a substrate okay and these techniques deposit thin films on a surface atom by atom or molecule by molecule okay so in this way thin films are being deposited right a film with thickness which is less than 1 micron that is 1 micrometer is termed as a thin film okay remember this and whereas 
a film having thickness greater than this one micron is called a coating okay so this is the basic difference between the thin film and coating so in this case both metal like for example cadmium chromium copper nickel then titanium etc and also non metal like ceramic matrix composites of carbon or carbon then carbon or silicon carbide okay so such types of coatings can be treated and created by this vacuum deposition processes okay the deposition process takes place in a vacuum environment with or without plasma due to which the deposition occurs at a lower temperature right and this vacuum environment will result in some of the consequences like increase in mean free path for collisions then creation of low pressure plasma environment then lower contaminations then providing a way to control the gas and vapor composition and provide a means for mass flow control within the processing chamber okay so vacuum deposition methods are essentially the vapor deposition processes in which the surface properties are being modified typically without significant changes in the underlying microstructure of the substrate okay that means in other words these processes will affect the surfaces only okay and vacuum deposition methods can be broadly classified into two categories number 1 is the physical vapor deposition okay this we will read in the upcoming class in detail okay so it is called in short pvd okay so in this physical vapor deposition process the vapor source is either a liquid or a solid and it involves generation and condensation of vapor phase species via thermal evaporation sputtering or pulsed laser deposition or laser ablation right now this physical vapor deposition occurs at a lower deposition temperature without the corrosive products but however in these methods the deposition rates are typically very low okay now the second one is the chemical vapor deposition that is in short cvd okay this also we will read in the upcoming classes in detail now in this chemical vapor deposition process the source is a chemical vapor precursor that is why it is named the chemical vapor deposition right and in this cvd process the film growth takes place at a higher temperature which will lead to formation of corrosive gaseous products okay now finally the vacuum deposition techniques are actually very useful and some of the applications are as follows so number 1 in depositing metallic films superconducting films and coatings then transparent conductive oxides then electrically insulating films so in depositing all these types of films and coatings the vacuum deposition techniques are used okay now secondly in corrosion protection these are used then in solar thin film photovoltaic cells also these are used now the coatings are here hard and erosion resistant further they are reflective and also anti reflective okay so these are some of the applications of this vacuum deposition techniques okay thank you